One encounter is all it takes yes, it does. for everything to change. Yes. I know that's what it was for me. One encounter with the Lord that I knew that I knew. I knew that I knew that I knew. Right. We've, we've exchanged our personal encounters. What was it like two weeks ago? Uh-huh. Where the Holy Spirit really knocked us on our off of our feet, I should say. And it's interesting because I was 10 years old at church camp. His was a little older, um, but our experiences when we described them were very similar. And even growing up in the church, people try to pray for you, try to pour into you, and they mean well. They're trying to encourage you and want the best for you and try to guide you. But there isn't much you can say until that person has their own divine encounter themselves. That's why I really enjoyed Pastor Luke's sermon on Sunday. He was very real. Yes. But so true. He said, you know, growing up in church, he wanted to rebel. But until he had his own encounter, his own relationship with the Lord, there's nothing that anyone can pray into you. (laughs) When you have your own experience, your own encounter, you are never again at anyone's uh, argument or theology. Because that's all they have. Right. Because you can, they can argue theology, they can argue uh, their opinions. But when you had your own experience, you'd say, listen, I don't know about that. I don't know about theology. I just know what I expect. It makes me want to shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you The swarming locust left, the crawling locust has eaten. And what the crawling locust left, the consuming locust has eaten. Awake, you drunkards, and weep and wail. Awake. Talks about four different kinds of locusts. As far as I was, I knew there was only one locust. But he's talking about the things in our lives. We all have have had in our lives things that have chewed away a portion of something that we had. Whether it was our health, whether it was finances, just started to chew it away. You know, when the chewing starts, it starts little at a time. Then, after that, the swarming locust. Seems like at time we've all, all had problems just swarm at us. It wasn't just little bites anymore. It seemed like there was a whole lot of things trying to swarm like a bunch of locusts at one time. See, the enemy, when he tries to come and starts chewing at whatever is God's children belongs to them, if that doesn't work, he brings in a whole lot of swarming around them. And if that doesn't work, he tries to bring consuming power. Just when you get tired and you feel like, I'm just consumed, I'm just done. So we lay it down. But here it says, awake. Awake, wake up. He's describing what the attitude of our heart should be. Not literally here, but everything in us should cry out to God for more. Everything in us should cry out to God. Said, We've never seen anything like this before, God. And it seems like it's getting worse, God. But God says, don't, don't fear. Don't fear. Because everything that you're seeing is not real. A lot of stuff that you're feeling, a lot of stuff that's happening around us, a lot of stuff that is trying to chew, trying to swarm, trying to overwhelm, is not real. 
It's just our perception of how we see that real. 